Hey, it's Dougie from Valto, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about is Microsoft Copilot free? Now, it's kind of a two part answer this because there is a free version of Copilot and there's also a paid version of Copilot. So it's got to understand first which Copilot you're talking about before we can answer that question. So the first version is the free Copilot, which is essentially what used to be Bing Chat. And you can see it on the screen here. It's essentially something I can use um, a little bit just like ChatGPT. It can create um, text and things like that. The other cool thing that it can do um, sort of natively out of the box is create images. So I could say things like create me an image of a man walking up a path towards a snowy mountain. And that will go away and it'll actually create those images for me. Whereas the kind of free versions of ChatGPT can't do that directly inside of the interface. So to say this is the free version, it's what you can access directly inside of Bing. Um, you don't need any form of licenses and things like that. There you go, you can see it's created me some images there. I could use it for text processing. So I could say, um, okay, now write me a short story about a man walking up a path towards a snowy mountain and then it will go and use this kind of interface to go and create um, a new story here called bobby the mountain climber and you can see very quickly how not only i can generate images but i can also generate text using this version of copilot but this literally is just a um, sort of GPT type of interface, and it's not going to do all the other things you might have heard that Copilot can do. That's where we need to use Copilot for Microsoft 365. Copilot for Microsoft 365 is what's going to do things like go and create files for you. It's where you might have seen things like having a um, document and then uh, you've asked it to go and create a PowerPoint presentation based on that original document and things like that. That's where you're going to need your license for Microsoft 365. Now, the cost for that currently is $30 per user per month. However, it's a 12-month commitment. Now, you can also co-term licenses, which means, say, for example, you, you, this is an add-on license, so you have to pin it on the back of an existing Microsoft 365 license. So it might mean um, that you have a... 12 month commitment, but there's only three months left of that 12 month commitment. So your co pilot commitment would only be that three month period. Now, there's a couple of different reasons why um, that's the case. And I've already kind of spoken about this in previous videos. But essentially, the short story is co pilot is not going to kind of revolutionize things within the first month. It takes time to, to, to embed in for you to learn about it, for it to learn about you. And to, to basically improve that return on investment, it needs to be running for a number of months. And that's the reason why um, it's like that. Um, so there's your answer. The, uh, there's no kind of, um, as I say, right or wrong answer. There is a free version, which we can use basic things like this, like creating images and text. But if you want it to work with things like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and all the kind of other Office products, and you're going to need to get hold of that license. Um, overall, to go down that route, obviously, you're going to see a much bigger kind of productivity boost. Um, it, it has that kind of seamless integration with all those products. Let's talk about Excel, Microsoft Loop, Whiteboard, OneNote, Word, um, or all the kind of things that you're potentially using on a day to day basis anyway. Um, you're also getting that kind of secure um, element to it as well, because then you're using your Enter ID, which is a, originally your Azure um, sort of login details to make sure that everything that the users are doing are all properly secure and protected. Um, but as I say, um, you have to have an existing Microsoft 365 license subscription to pin that on the back of. If you need help with this, you've got any questions about Microsoft Copilot, then please do give us a shout. This is what we're here to do. Um, we, we are also offering a free Microsoft Copilot assessment. So what this is, it's a essentially a 40-point check of what your organization um, and where you're up to in terms of your AI adoption and readiness. And that'll give you a little report to say um, maybe some recommendations, how well your security is set up ready for AI, all those different things. But essentially, we're here to help you through that journey. So if you need any help with Microsoft Copilot, then there's a link um, below to a contact form. 
use that, get in touch, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.